Hello everyone, welcome back to the Graphiculator YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you that how to create this nice sunset light effect in Adobe Photoshop. Okay then, let's get start. I have selected this image for my edit. You can see that this girl is standing on a field. And you can see the horizon behind this girl's image, so we can create this sunset effect where the horizon is. Also you need to pay attention to the lighting of the image when you are selecting any image for edit. You can see that the key light of this image is coming from this side, so we can add sunset effect in this area. If the light source and our effects are not consistent each other, then final edit will not looks realistic. So keep this in mind when you are selecting image for edit. First of all I'm going to the layer palette, select the background layer and press Ctrl J or Command J on Mac to create a duplicate layer of this background layer. And I will turn this background layer off for now. Then I'm going to create an adjustment layer to create this sunset light. Select the new layer and go click on the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette. And select gradient, it will create a gradient fill adjustment layer on top of the new layer I created. And also this window is open for the adjustments of the gradient. Click on the gradient in this window. It will open up another window to edit the gradient fill. This current gradient has been set to start from white, and finish with a transparency. I need to make changes for this gradient to create this sunset effect. I will leave the white color as it is, and create new color stop by clicking this empty area. Then select that color stop and go to the colors at the bottom. I will select a bright yellow color for this color stop like this. Then go to the third color stop. Select the color stop and click on the colors at the bottom. This time I select a bright red color for this color stop. These are the opacity controllers of the gradient fill. This end has 100% opacity in this gradient fill. And other end it's set to fully transparent. I will move this opacity slider to the middle area like this. And you can see that this end of the gradient fill has been set to fully transparent. Now this gradient fill start from white and then to bite yellow and finish with red transparency. And click OK. Now we don't want this linear fill. Go to the styles in this window, and change the style from linear to radial. We can scale this gradient fill like this as we need. But I will leave this 100% for now. And we can move this gradient by dragging like this. I will place this over here just above the horizon. Then click OK. Now I'm going back to the layer palette and select this gradient fill layer and change the blending mode to screen. Now we can see this nice sunset effect. We can edit this effect as we need. Double click on the thumbnail of the gradient fill layer. It will open this edit window again. Then I will move this slightly like this. Click OK. We need to make sure that the center area of this effect is placed over the horizon. And I'm going to create another adjustment layer over this gradient fill layer. Click on the new adjustment layer icon. And click on curves. Now click on this new adjustment layer. And go to the properties palette over the layer palette. I will increase the red color bit selecting red channel from this properties palette. And then increase the green color also. Need to reduce the blue color bit to increase the yellow in image. I will increase the red again slightly. OK. Now you can see the different before and after of this adjustment layer. And now this curves effect has been applied all over the image. But I don't want that. I need to apply this effect only for the selected areas of the background to show the reflection of the sunlight. To do this, I will click on this layer mask icon of the curves adjustment layer. Press Ctrl I or Command I to invert the mask. And then make sure that the foreground color is set to white. If not you can click on this small icon to swap foreground and background colors. Or you can press X key and keyboard to swap colors. Once it done take the brush tool from toolbox. And set hardness of the brush to zero. Make the brush size bit larger. And you can resize the brush by pressing square bracket keys and keyboard. 
Then paint some areas of the background to show this light reflection. Now you can see the different before and after. Okay. Then take the move tool and go back again to layer palette to create another adjustment layer. I'm going to add a blue color tone to the shadows of this image. Click on the new adjustment layer icon and click on solid color. I will set this color to a blue color like this. Set hue to 236, saturation to 93 and brightness to 54. Then change the blending mode to lighten. Now you can see that blue color has applied to the shadows of the image. But this is too much at the moment. I will reduce the opacity of this layer to reduce the blue color. Okay, this looks good. I will just make final adjustment for this. I'm going to increase the brightness of the light effect. Select the gradient fill layer and press Ctrl J or Command J to create duplicate layer. Select the bottom layer and double click on the layer thumbnail to edit the gradient. Click on the gradient of this window. And I'm going to remove the yellow color from this gradient. Click and drag away this color stop to remove this yellow color. And I will change this red color to white. Then I will adjust these opacity sliders slightly to adjust the light effect. Okay. I will reduce the opacity slightly in this layer. Now we have this nice sunset light effect. But one more thing, I don't want this light effect place over the face of this girl. To remove this, I will click on the layer mask icon of the first gradient fill layer. Make sure foreground color is set to black. And then take the brush tool with soft edge brush and paint over the face. Okay, now we can compare this final image with the original one. This is before. And this is after. Finally I will clean this layer palette by making a group for these adjustment layers. Click on the layer at the bottom, and hold down the shift key and click on the top layer to select all the adjustment layers. And press Ctrl G or Command G to make a layer group. I will rename this layer group as Sunset Effect. Okay, this is it. Hope you have learned something new in this tutorial. Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also share this video to see someone else. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see new tutorials and other design stuffs. See you in next video.